Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel. My name is Jared. Today I'm going to be making this short video just highlighting the differences between some of the original parts on the S13. When I was trying to put this stuff back together, unfortunately there's not really any pictures on Google or online. There's certainly no videos just highlighting how some of these parts go because um, I found like I ordered something and then I needed something different and it was so many years ago since I took these parts off I couldn't remember how they went on so I'm hoping one day this video might be useful to you just to work out how these parts go back together on the car or what you need to buy so what I have here is this is actually an 89 uh, 180SX this one was originally a CA but as you can see there's an SR in it so I'm putting all this original stuff back on to get the registration sorted in Victoria, Australia. So what I have here starting off is the airbox. And this one, as you can see, has the mass airflow sensor pointing on an angle back towards the engine. So this one is for the turbo car and it's also got this breather hose on the side. This one as well, as you can see, says CA18DET on it, but it is in fact not a DET airbox. And as you can see, the mass airflow sensor actually points over the radiator shroud there. So the box sits fl flat, something like that, like the other one. And as you can see, it actually points slightly forward. And that is because the naturally aspirated engines just have a pipe which goes directly to the throttle body. The bottom of the airbox on the DE and the DET engines are the same, so they're interchangeable. You can switch between the two tops. The DE airbox also has this large opening for here for a resonator, and this is the, the fitting for the breather, which is that hose over there. And this here is the assembly part, which connects onto here, and that sits up in this, this area like that. The next part here is the mass airflow sensor. On the CA and the SR, the bolt pattern for the airflow sensor remained the same on both models, and even the plug and the design of it but you'll find that there is a difference in the model number. This one being for a turbo model and the CA turbo is different again. This is for an SR turbo and the SR NA will be different, CA NA will be different and the DET will be different again. So it's important that you have the right airflow meter for your car otherwise it will not run correctly because the scaling on these sensors is different but you'll find that the plug will still go on but it won't idle it won't drive very nice um, but the actual size the length of it is quite similar but like i said the ca has a slightly smaller uh, two and a quarter inch outlet instead of two and a half inch which the turbo sr20s did come with Next up you have this turbo inlet hose which goes down to the turbo which you can just see down the bottom there. I didn't find one for an SR20 DET so I ended up making one out of just some silicon bends. The MAF is two and a half inches and the turbo snout is also two and a half inches. This one here is the original one which I had from a CA and this car now has a T28 on it which is slightly different from the T25 but actually on this one you have one end which is two and a quarter inches and the other which is two and a half so unfortunately this doesn't fit on the car because you have a two and a half inches on the MAF and the inlet on the turbo so there is a difference between the CA18 inlet hose and an SR20 on the turbo there is also a difference with this snout which bolts onto the turbo. As you can see here, if it bolts, this is the original one from a T25 on the CA turbo. And as you can see, if you bolted that on, 
it points in almost a, a parallel direction to the ground. Maybe hard to tell now, but you can see the original elbow from the T28 turbo actually points more upwards. So it actually gives it a direction up like this, where the T25 is more across like that. This is the turbo outlet, which is that piece there. Uh, they're actually the same between the two. So the T25 and the T28 is the same. Then next you've got the hot side intercooler piping here. This bend is the same on the two, but there is a slight difference in the pipe here. The CA has a slightly shorter one and the SR is slightly longer, but the piping diameter and the bends are the same. Then that pipe actually goes down into the intercooler. Okay, so what you can see under here is the CA18 side mount intercooler. So those two pipes, as you can see, come down through there and they come down through that section. So as you can see, the hot air comes through this one, goes through the intercooler, back out the top one and through the top there. So for me, it was a little bit difficult working out how to remember this mounted. So on the top there, there's a bolt on that side and a bolt on the other side as well, on both sides of that, holding it up. And then if you come in the back here, you need to take this out and you can see that there is another bracket there that bolts on the side and to the side of the frame rail. So you need to make sure that you have that bracket. As you can see, I haven't got, haven't got the top bolt in there yet, but there's two M8 bolts onto the intercooler and two M6 bolts on the side of the frame rail. And that is behind this here. And then on the other side, you can see there is another bracket. Which looks like this, and that goes to the side there. And those two bolts come out down here where the intake is. As you can see, the head of the bolt just there, and there's a second one over there which I haven't put in just yet. This is the intercooler from an S13 SR20 DET, and it is quite a bit different to the CA18 DET. So it bolts differently onto the car, depending if it was originally CA or SR. So the SR has a thicker call. It's not quite as wide, but it is a bit taller at the same time. The piping diameter is the same. The plastic inlet is different. So this one is from the CA, which is the intercooler which I just showed you. And obviously this one is the SR20. The brackets are also different on the SR20 compared to the CA. As you can see, the SR is missing those bolts at the top there, and these brackets are in a different orientation. So. This one is designed to fit on like a 91 or 92 onwards car that was originally SR20. The CA intercooler also has these foam metal covers which go on the end tank like this, which can also differentiate it from the SR20 intercooler. The next piece to the puzzle is this cold side pipe which travels over the radiator to the intake. So on the SR20 and the CA, these were a plastic pipe. What distinguishes this from the CA is actually this bend. The SR20 has the radiator, the top radiator hose on the right-hand side, whereas the CA has it on the left-hand side. So Nissan designed this with a kink, which goes down further and it also has this fitting here, which you can use for the turbo wastegate or any other sort of reference. And it's got brackets here to attach to the radiator, which don't line up because I have a different radiator. This one obviously bolts under here. And then we've got the idle air control valve hose and this silicon coupler, which is designed to go down to the intake because the SR20 has the throttle body at the bottom of the intake manifold, whereas the CA has it on the top. For comparison, this is the pipe which goes over the radiator 
on a CA. As you can see, it's more square. It doesn't have that same indentation as the SR does. Still has the same brackets here for the radiator. And actually this pipe ends here and points off in that direction rather than going down. And you have a silicon coupler, which isn't on here, but it just goes directly onto the throttle body as well. And this hose here, just like the SR20 is for the idle air control valve. All right, well, thanks for watching the video. I hope this was very informative for you and answers your questions and you could actually see how everything goes. So if this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. If not, put a comment down below and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.